Welcome or welcome back to the Locker Chronicles. My name is Larissa and today we are going to be potentially reorganizing all these books on these lovely shelves in my library office thing. <laughs> it's been a day. It's been a good day. It's been a productive day, but it's still been a day. I'm very tired. I'm having myself a Moscow Mule. I rarely drink, but when I do, I prefer a Moscow. I haven't had one in so long. What we're doing today, I have two main bookshelves. Bookshelf behind you. That one's not as important. I do want to clean it up a bit. And then I have my cube bookshelves, which holds my TBR, which is getting a little, t a little too full since I can't keep up with all the books that I'm gonna read. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to plan out on my iPad what I want each shelf to be. I've done books by height, I've done books by color, by author, by title, and now I think it's time to do genre. I am quite nervous. I also really need to dust them and just general maintenance, clean them up a bit. There are some things that need to be taken into account. Harry Potter gets his own shelf all the time. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Miss Sarah J Moss. Is it Mass or Moss? Anyway, she's gonna get her own shelf because I just keep buying her series. <laughs> so she's gonna get her own shelf. And everything else, I'm debating. Cause right now I kind of have all my series stuff over on this side and all my standalones or books that I don't have the second edition to the series over there. While I enjoy that, I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't know. So we're gonna plan it out. Bookshelf one, should we do that as one? We can do that as one. And then bookshelf two. The cubby's gonna stay as the TBR. That is very easy for me to decipher. Oh, also I have on the top shelf over there, I have like my tarot cards and woo woo witchy stuff. So that's gonna get its own shelf too. <laughs> Everything gets its own shelf. I wish I could, I wonder if I could go to Ikea and just get like another shelf. Cause I would love to add just a plain old shelf buy them somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to look. I'm just losing so much height space and that's what's frustrating. Cause I could fit so many more books on the shelves if there was enough shelves. There should be, what did I say? Six? There should be seven. And I am a primarily a romance reader gal. So that's gonna take up a lot of it. Also, do I want to have my favorite authors, like my my autobuy authors, Emily Henry, Taylor Jenkins Reid, Colleen Hoover, Allie Hazelwood. Oh, who else? There's another one. Oh, Christina Lauren. I pretty much will just buy whatever they're selling. Whatever they write, I'm, I'm picking up. Do we want to keep the fantasy books over here? Or do we want to move them over there and move everything else over here? So I do kind of a lot of filming over here. Maybe we'll flip flop. Oh no, okay. Okay, okay. What if we do nonfiction? We're just planning out, okay. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you when I get this figure out and then we'll go through it. Sound great? Good. After much doubler, <laughs> drunk after much deliberation we're gonna do on this shelf non-fiction thriller romance general literary whatever and historical fiction then on the other side will be the top shelf is gonna stay the same it's gonna be like my woo woo stuff then Sarah J Maas Harry Potter mythology any mythological retellings series, anything like that. General fantasy. So there are six shelves, but right now the two bottom shelves are empty. Um, besides like some random journals and 
um, what, like the core stuff that really doesn't need to be around. All right, so that's, that's the game plan. I'm gonna take all the books off and then I'm gonna dust and organize and all of that. So let's, let's speed through this, shall we? Here's where we are so far. We got the Sarah J Moss. We got the Harry Potter. I put these up to the edge and I pushed those back just because of the decor. I am really, really sad though, because my mask that I have, that I like put in front doesn't fit. And it doesn't fit at the end. Oh, no, no, it doesn't fit at the end. And I'm just so sad, so sad, because, you know, if you wrote Akatar, you know why the mask is essential, the core option. So, we'll have to see what we can do. I have another mask, so maybe we'll update that, but we'll, we'll deal with that when we come to it. Harry Potter shelf, pretty much same, stayed the same. Now on to mythology and fantasy slash magical realism. This is where we're at. Um, <laughs> I thought I had a lot more mythology books. I do not. This is, this is it. I think I was just thinking of Akatar counting as that without like realizing. I just, I thought I had a lot more. I feel like I read a lot of Greek mythology or just mythology in general and apparently not unless it's on my Kindle but I don't think so. I usually do the hard copies. Anyway that's okay. There's more coming to be put on that shelf anyway. This is more of like magical realism. Not quite fantasy. We got some YA. We got Stephanie Meyer. She's all clumped together now which is great and we got Oh, The Hunger Games. I need, I want to reread all of these. All of them. Anyway, I'm liking it so far, I think. <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm really disappointed about my, my fantasy standalone shelf and my mythology shelf. I'm going to continue watching YouTube and do the other side. Shelf two cleaned off below you. Let me tilt you down. flashbacks to when I first moved in and was setting up my bookshelves in the first place. I have a lot of romance, so that's gonna at least take two shelves, I think. Actually, I have a lot of contemporary. Definitely more romance, though. Oh, that's a thriller. What is that doing over there? <laughs> LOL. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so I kind of left you guys hanging on that last shelf. That's okay. I just got in the zone and got it done, cranked it out. I was so tired, so I I had to just call it quits and I couldn't update you. Here are the shelves. We'll do a full shelf tour. I am in love. Here, let me get out of the way so you can actually see. Yay, beautiful, stunning. You can see my ring light because this side of the room never has light. So, we love that. All right, let's do, let's do that shelf first. Okay, hi, I'm ahead. This is my witchy spiritual tarot shelf. Nothing changed with it. The decor didn't change, so it's still the same. And this thing is my crystals. We got my butterfly and, oh, some poetry too. So that's always fun. Next up, I deviated off the plan. So this was originally the Sarah J Maas shelf, but because I do a lot of filming sometimes over here, I thought it would be more fun for her to be shown than hidden up here when I sit on the floor. So we have like my YA, things that had a choke hold on me when I was a kid. <laughs> so the Twilight series along with Stephanie Meyer's other books too, The Host and The Chemist. I really enjoyed both and I'm kind of sad she didn't continue with the series for both because I did enjoy them. 
And then obviously The Hunger Games. Oof, so good. I'm so excited for this movie to come out. And Chronicles of Narnia, so this is all of the books bound up. Love this series with my whole heart and soul. And then Aragon. We love, we love, love. Then we have the Harry Potter shelf. This is just one of my favorite shelves always. I just love Harry Potter so much. So I got my wands. This is Harry and Hermione's wand along with the cauldron. I used to put candy in there. I don't think I have anything in there anymore. No, no candy, no nothing. Um, one of my friends got that for me for my birthday and I just love it so much. And chocolate frog along with the collector card. Focus. There we go. This is Birdie Bot. We know him as the guy that made the Birdie Bots every flavored beans. I got that last New Year's when I was in Harry Potter World 4. That. Oh, also I got this off Etsy. It holds my memory cards, but isn't it cute? It's just like a little, little tea dish, a little jewelry holder. And next up we have the Sarah J Maas. Oh, it turned out so cute. I'm so happy. I ended up changing out my favorite mask for the other one that I was complaining about. <sighs> I'm still debating on it. I may switch it back. I do love this mask. Anyway, not the point. So we have all the series up along with a little lantern at the end. I am, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to read this. I'm so excited to read this series and I'm so excited to reread this series. She has just a chokehold on me. And then the next shelf is the mythology and other fantasy and magical realism shelf. Um, I thought I had a lot more mythology books, but I was very wrong. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of disappointing, but I do have a lot of my TBR shelves. So we got my flowers, Aphrodite and David hanging out. And then I talk about, I've talked about this book before. This is one of my favorite books for like intro to Greek mythology. It gives a really quick uh, stories about all the heroes, gods, and monsters. And I that's where I found my love for Hades and Persephone, as well as Eros and Psyche. All right, on this bottom shelf, we have Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, and then some special edition bind-ups from Barnes and Noble, Sherlock Holmes, Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, Jane Austen's seven novels, um, King Arthur and the Knights, and Peter Pan, as well as Blueberry hanging out in the corner. <laughs> so this is the start of the second shelf. On the top shelf, we have my nonfiction shelf. So it's any self-improvement, memoirs, biographies, autobiography, whatever you want to call them. Finance is a lot of it too. And some journals that are self-improvement, Case Kenny's, Singles Are Superpowered and Unbothered are great. And also my piggy bank, her name's Olive. And then my lovely, I just love that sign so much. And then the second shelf is more romance series. So Fifty Shades of Grey, The Mask. Like I said, I may switch out the masks again. And the Kiss Quotient, I mean, they're just interrelated, but I love them nonetheless. And then Bridgerton series, these are the three I haven't read yet, so that's why they're upright like that. Otherwise, they will be eventually joining the big stack. Next up is my romance shelf. <laughs> I snuck in Taylor Jenkins Reid because I could not put her on, because all of my favorite authors are on the shelf, my autobi authors, as I was saying earlier. I couldn't not have her here. She just makes me so happy. We have more of the romance on here, which is getting dangerously full, but that's okay. Oh, I also put Where the Crawdads Sing up here because I also love that book too. I just couldn't, couldn't not have it up there. Next up is more of like my general fiction, literary, contemporary, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so generalized fiction and then more historical fiction on that half. So this last shelf is thrillers on this half and kind of just random stuff. So it's more romance, but it's Nicholas Sparks and I haven't read him in years, but I do love all of those books. And then Tom Sawyer, The Giver, Little Princess and Tuck Everlasting. So just some older books. And then the bottom shelf that is empty. So more 
for more books. Now for the TBR cubby, the first three. This is my books that will be my TBR for the month. And then in here is bookmarks and other like letters and stuff that are more memorabilia. And then this side over here is the books that I have read during the month. So I can easily grab them and make the videos so I don't lose them. But these ones will be going up because obviously those are from December if you watch the December wrap up. So these middle shelves of the cubes, this side is my more anticipated reads that I would like to read very, very soon that I am guessing I'm going to be in the mood for the most. Then we have just my book of the month books. I just couldn't separate them. I thought they looked so cute together and they make me happy <laughs> to look at. And I also really do want to read those as well. So this is more of like the moderate to high priority shelf. Crazy Rich Asians and The Mister. I would really like to get those read and put on the shelves. <laughs> Lastly, the bottom shelves. So we have my nonfiction reads. I have a lot of like finance, health, all of that jazz down on here. And then historical fiction. Again, these are past books, like they're, they're older books and I just haven't had the chance to read them. I do need to read these too because my friend gave me those for my birthday last year and I still haven't read them and I really want to. So this is more historical fiction and then those are more romance, magical realism, kind of anything else. All right, that is my bookshelf tour, my reorganized bookshelves. Did you guys have a favorite shelf? What was it? Please let me know in the comments below. If there are any books on the TBR shelf that you want me to prioritize, please let me know because I have no clue <laughs> what to read next, but I'm excited for whatever it is. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it as well as subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other bookish content that I produce. It's going to be a good time over here in 2023. And with that, respect others, respect yourself and do something amazing with your day. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>